everyone. So, on this episode of my gigantic, unconventional family series, I'm featuring none other than the man himself, Dr. John Anthony Giannoli III, an amazing man who I'm incredibly blessed to be able to call my dad. Thank you. All right, so um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm very fortunate to be the father of, I guess I'd just say 24 and counting. Fair enough. <laughs> and um, Zach has had a very special role in my life, and one that that could not be replicated by anybody else. It's beautiful, and um, I don't know what to say other than I want to. I'd love to take credit for a lot of the beautiful things that have happened, but it's something that just kind of passed through me. So it's from up above. And, well, I tell you what, everything after we finally got to, I don't want to say met, because that's the wrong way to work. When we reconnected. Good one, I like that. Once we reconnected, my life has been more amazing than I ever thought it would be. And you were 100% responsible for those improvements. Well. So maybe not the first beginning of it, but everything I'm glad I could play a role in it. Absolutely. You, you, you deserve every bit of it. You've been wonderful. Everything you've ever brought me has been just a blessing, and I'm very, very fortunate to have Zach as my son. Awesome. As, as well as all my other I'm going to try, try not to choke up during this video here. <laughs> viewers and stuff, you're not going to keep up my tough man persona. Good, good. But, um, so let me ask you a couple questions. So um, first and foremost, how do you feel about having a gigantic, unconventional family? I love it. I love it. Lots of I, fun. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, I don't want to get too long-winded here, but to get back to, I there was a time in my life when I thought I would, first off, never fall in love, second of all, never be married, third of all, never have children. And um, so I got involved with um, the fertility lab, and then I didn't expect to ever meet any of them. But you got to remember, this was 1988, 89 when I was doing this, and uh technology eventually overtook everything and there was 23andMe and Ancestry.com and these websites and uh, first meeting all the kids was a little jarring perhaps but it's been nothing but gravy since then it's been an absolutely beautiful thing and kids come to me um, they can have a solitary relationship with me if they want um, if they want to be part of the bigger group they're welcome to do that too um, when I donated at the fertility lab, I, I never wanted, I knew that I never wanted to intrude on anyone's life, but I also knew that should someone want to meet their dad, I felt it was something of a human right to know who your father is, so I wanted to uh, leave myself open to meeting anyone who wanted to meet me, and um, I've been very, very lucky and very fortunate. This has been a blessing that I cannot begin to tell you. It's really beautiful. Well, you've definitely given an amazing gift, mm -hmm. and I'm honored to be your son. Back at you, kiddo. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, um, now I think that covers <clears throat> quite a few of the questions most of my viewers have. Um, usually they're always, why did he do it? How does he feel? Is he cool? Do you know him? All that good stuff. Um, I think that pretty well covers most of it, though. You got it's else you it's been a viewers? lot of fun, because I'm going to tell you something. Nature versus nurture. Genetics is not everything, but it's definitely something. And every single one of the kids that I've met, as different as they are, they come from different circumstances, different backgrounds, different parts of the country, every one of them, I've seen something very striking in them that I know it's me. Yeah. <laughs> so That's awesome. Well, thank you all for watching again, and we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye now.